This feels loud. Is it loud? <laughs> Also, should chat be there or here? You know what, chat? You can stay with me. Oh, I'm gonna need to look. You know what? Never mind. Chat, you stay over there. I'll figure it out later. Because I do have a thing where I can just instantly- What the fuck? Why is it over here? Okay, hold on. Okay, well, you know what, just copy it there, over here, get rid of it. Wait, excuse me, wait, where is it? No! Oh, don't paste reference. Okay, whatever. We'll do it like this. I will vote for Infernate because the well, other fire type is there. Uh, Houndoom... Magmortar, I guess. This is the correct dual screen. Yeah, it is. Oh, you can't see my mouse either. Cool. Wait. Someone is confused. I did not set up... Set up good controls. Yes, so not many at all. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Who's that? My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? No. Rowan is the Pokemon! If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. Catch him! <laughs> this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you'd please. No, no, not that button. The button on the Pokeball! No one is a... <laughs> We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Gently caress the center of the Pokeball in the center of the ball. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Well, sometimes I feel kind of girly. All right, so you're a girl? Yeah. Tell me, what is your name? Um, do we want to go with a mixed drink theme? <laughs> Because I kind of like the idea of going, like, after candy names, too. Because then I could call myself Candy Ass. Selection screen always starts on the guy and it annoys me. Yeah, bartender. <laughs> bartender! <laughs> that's good. That's, that's good, actually. <laughs> Bartend. Um. That works, right? Like, that's a word. It's a verb for work serving drinks at a bar. Bartender. Barback. Okay. I mean, I... I can just use my mouse. Your name is Barbeck? Oh, I can't use my mouse. 
Okay, so you're Barbeck. Fine name, that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. Barbabe? Ah, oh, dang it. Oh well. What might his name be? Okay. <laughs> Does anyone have a have a good name for this one? <laughs> Can we name them Professor? I don't think we have enough room for Professor. That's why he chases you. Uh, I don't think Drunkard will fit. No, it won't. By the way, where do you get your ROMs? I don't know what you're talking about. This is on completely, completely, uh, completely legitimate hardware. But, uh, so someone in the, in the Fen base might be able to tell you more about it. Uh, someone in the Discord <laughs> server might be able to. What what is like a synonym for drunkard? Boozer, <laughs> boozer. <laughs> totally don't have all the games on a hard drive. Weezer, Weezer. <laughs> Carl Weezer. <laughs> I we're gonna go with boozer. <laughs> Boozer, is it? That's your friend's name. Yes. All right, Barback, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. So, uh, spoilers, I will be getting Lucario, and, uh, what I'm thinking for the name is Screwdriver. <laughs> Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you'll understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. That concludes our special program, Let's Ask Professor Rowan! Apologies, course your games are legit. Yep. I I even have the cartridge to prove it. I mean, why wouldn't I have the cartridge though? Brought to you by Jubilee Fi <laughs> on Nation Wide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. Oh my god. That music. It just gave me, like, a wave of nostalgia. Guys, I think I'm gonna cry. Ah, uh, yes, um... Wanted on fast. Claim the first Pokémon Bidoof as Loaf. Let it out. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Go original. We could, we could go black and white. Uh, I kind of like that one. But I mean, I also like the one that's got no frame. Got stuff thrown at me. We don't start with anything, do we? We can't... <laughs> there you are! Hey, Barbeck, did you see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? Means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Oh, uh, hey, is this a new PC? <laughs> he just broke into your house. Oh, uh, where was I? All right, right, we're going to go see Professor Rowan and get, get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Where did chat go?
Barsash, what did you do? <laughs> okay, Barbeck, if you're late, I'm fighting you 10 million. <laughs> Star Sash, what was that? <laughs> hey, is that a Wii? It didn't work. Oh. Pokemon Basics. Oh, this is just repeat stuff. Screw that, I'm going to bed. Well, I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I swear, I do that joke with every new playthrough. <laughs> hmm. Barback. Boozer left already. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. It no worky. Is that, is that all, Mom? You know how impatient Boozer is. He took off before I could even ask what it was about. Oh, yes, Barbeck. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It'd be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Well, take care, sweetie. Man, it's already nighttime. Someone set off the bomb. It was about alcohol. <laughs> Oh man, I heard they have this new whiskey. Oh man. Thud. Oh, what was that about? Oh, hey, Barbeck. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come too, and quickly. Oh, jeez. Forgot something. No, Mom, I don't value myself enough not to explore the tall grass. <laughs> and this is it. <laughs> I'd rather take my bag and journal, too. Oh, uh, hey, Barbeck. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million fine if you're late. Jeez, man. So, when we when we pick Chimchar, isn't there already a mixed drink called a Fireball or something? Alcoholic at ten. <laughs> Too slow. All right, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. Oh, don't go into the grass, right? Don't worry, it's no problem. Doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one, I've got an idea. Would it be funny if he gets more sober or drunk through the story? Maybe. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into the tall grass? So, what you do? You scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sandrum Town without running into any wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here goes. On your marks. Hold it! Oh, I should have had this pulled up. Hold it! Oh shit, here he come. <laughs> you two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Hey Barbeck, this, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, is it? What's he doing here? He tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. He's like about to retire. True. Mm, what to do? Our world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? Uh, you two. You truly love Pokemon, do you? No, not really. 
Well, hold up. You're not making any sense here. Ahem. I didn't quite catch that, so I will ask you again. You too. You truly love Pokemon, do you? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Me too. I, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You too. You truly love Pokemon, do you? Uh, you could ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We both answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, Barbeck? No. That joke's getting old! <laughs> a pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without a Pokemon of their own? It worries me that people, what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I, uh... Well, then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. Would rather have Lucario or Luxray. How big of you. Very well, then. I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then. Now where? Oh, hey. Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase behind at the lake. Something wrong here? Ah, oh, there it is. Lucas, nice work. What I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokemon. What? Those Pokemon are crucial. You're giving them away? Is it weird that Staraptor is sexy? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, he's got the hair flip. Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan? I can't believe it. I'm so happy right now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey, Barbeck, you can choose first. I, I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. You're a bad influence. Who is that? You guys saw that too, right? I've never seen that man appear in the cutscene. What's up with you? Open the briefcase and pick a Pokemon. Double Team Star Raptor. Uh, Turtwig, Piplup, and Chimchar. So, I'm trying to think. Should I stick with the starter all the way through? Or should I drop it for a Shinx? Because I'm I'm not sure. Do you want to make it a challenge? I'm mm, I'm not sure. I mean, the only thing Luxray is gonna have is well a lot of physical attack, but it gets like Thunder Fang and Crunch, and not really much variety in moves. Can give your rival the one week to Shinx. True. I I mean, regardless, we are picking Chimchar, yeah. Luxray is bad and competitive. Who said I was doing competitive? But I choose you. I, I'm picking this Piplop. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. Pokemon you ha have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sanjum Town. And now, we'll be on our way. 
Professor, wait for me. Uh, sorry, folks. How do, how do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. TV seems so stern and scary. Yeah, <laughs> Barback, we both got Pokemon now. It's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? No. What's with that attitude? Don't be that way. Oh. You know, I guess there's nothing saying that I can't, like, uh, come back to Platinum at a later date. <laughs> <laughs> Just play Platinum again. Sounds like fun. I'd love to do that. Ah, uh, this is exciting. What in the... That one hurt you. Well... He's strategizing. No way, we can't keep going. This is where we hit our stride. Hmm. Oh, I forgot you can kind of speed up text by tapping the bottom screen. Wow. Neat. <laughs> I, I wonder what our nature is. Find randomized things better? We might do that at some point. If you can help me set it up. That sounds like fun. Are already on the good track for. What are you saying? We ended up losing. Oh, it's easy. Okay. I imagine it's just putting codes and that's about it. <sighs> Let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest too. See ya, Barbak. 